Hello and welcome to Love Talk, and this is a special one. It's a special one because it's called The One, in finding the one special person, but also because it's a Valentine's Day special, and there's a lot of people who feel under pressure uh, to receive cards, roses, mm. gifts, and to get noticed, right? And many don't get anything. Mm. And, do, and can people really find the one on a Valentine's Day? That's so right. we'll find out. I mean, it's important to find the one, whether it is in Valentine's Day or not, well, that remains to be seen. But there is a lot of pressure involved with this day. And by the way, we have a couple here that are dating in the studio today, James and Desreen. And they'll be telling us their story of how they met and how their relationship has been unfolding. Let's go and, and meet them. So we have here James and Desreen with us. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Very good. You, you guys have been dating for how long? Seven months. Seven months. Seven months. They're, mm. they're going to tell us a little bit about their, their story, but before they do so, uh, I mean, Valentine's Day is a, is a tricky time, right, Elena? Because, yes. you know, everybody's looking forward to it, but at the same time, they're not, because especially those who are single, I mean, they want Valentine's Day to come along, but only if people notice them. Mm, or if they write, if they receive a letter yeah. or some sort of gift, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, f for those who are not sure, if they're, they're gonna receive a letter or a card or a rose. I mean, nowadays, even an email, right? <laughs> an electronic card. <laughs> yeah, they card. don't do letters anymore, I Exactly. Heard. <laughs> so, I mean, people feel a little bit um, yeah. afraid. What, what if no one sends even, me anything? They even do that at college, isn't it? In yeah. schools. You know, let's write each other's letters, but not everyone gets a letter. I never used to get any, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to get really upset. <laughs> So there, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of pressure attached to mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. I, I mean, yes. mainly for for girls because guys are the ones who have to to write the letter, to give the the rose. So I, I never really felt that pressure before. You you felt the pressure? Of course I did. <laughs> All my friends used to get letters, and I was like, uh oh, <laughs> no letters for me. You know, a girl is a bit more sensitive, so. You want to get letters. Yeah, but we're going to tell you how to cope with Valentine's. Well, mm. We don't know how to cope, but what to do. Yes. If you're not expecting any, any letters, any chocolates, I mean, you might get surprised. Someone might surprise you, but we'll tell you what we're going to do to cope with that. Well, now I have two questions. First question I want to ask them. Mm -hmm. how, many, um, how many Valentine's Days have you spent together? so far. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, because I think we only had, I think it was one, but I'm not sure if it was one, because the time of the year that we got together, mm -hmm. it wasn't. What did you guys do? Did you? <laughs> oh, we'll save well, this we all, for later. Yeah. We'll save this for later. <laughs> and, uh, and tell me, what are you doing this week, you know, for Valentine's? What's your plan? I don't know yet, but I take my day off work, so. Oh, so you are expecting <laughs> something to you happen? Took your day off work, right? Yes, I have to go down. So no work. pressure, James. Exactly. <laughs> no pressure. Look at him. No, you are no sure pressure. Be nice. You better have something prepared because you took the whole day off work. Ah, exactly. Goodness. <laughs> well, we've got some comments on Facebook, which I would like to read mm -hmm. from um, some of our viewers who, uh, you know, discuss this topic of, mm -hmm. you know, is there a lot of pressure or not? Um, uh, one said, I think Valentine's Day can be overrated for couples. Valentine's Day is usually about gifts, going out, surprises and spending time together. This should be something that happens regularly, uh, not only on Valentine's Day. I agree 100%. Yeah. And, you know? and, and also, mm -hmm. if, I mean, if, you, um, if you are together with someone, if you're in a relationship, then I mean, you, you can choose to do something special on Valentine's Day. I think it's up, up to you. I mean, for me and Elena, we, we don't really do that because we already do a lot of things together. Yeah. Right? I mean, she's, she's, she's been asking me for a while to take her to a park. Last uh, time we went for a park. You mean over a year? Over yeah. a year. So it, it might happen, it might happen this week. But, <laughs> but apart from that, I mean, if you are with someone and you have a good relationship going, then you, you, you are constantly doing things yeah, together. Yeah, there's always something. We are always up to something. Yeah. So I think it shouldn't only be I want to see yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you shouldn't wait for, for Valentine's to, to be doing something special. That should happen all the time. And if that happens, then when Valentine's Day comes, then you might want to eat out or something, but it won't be a big deal because you already have a very good relationship. That's it, I agree. 
Uh, you know, we've got many comments. I'm, I, I'm not sure I will be able to read all, but there's another one from Malcolm. Mm -hmm. He says, well, for me, Valentine's Day as a single person is just another day for me. Uh, I don't feel press uh, pressure, uh, pressured, uh, pardon me, into doing something because I choose on that day to make the two special women in my life, my mom and my sister, feel special. But maybe if I was in a relationship, my views would be different. Mm -hmm. So that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you, you, Desra, I mean, mm -hmm. you, do you expect, I mean, you, you just said you took the whole day off work. So you do expect something to happen. <laughs> no, I don't, the thing is, initially, I, I actually just planned to go to the park mm -hmm. and go on like a long walk, just to spend the day with him. I think that's mm -hmm. what it is, because like you said, Valentine's Day is just kind of another day spending with him, so mm. I don't really expect anything, but as long as I'm with him, it's Did like, you hear that, James? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, then again, but then again, the thing is, women say, I don't expect anything special, but they may mean something completely different. That's what I was going to say. We are, we are yeah. specialising. Men, when they say <laughs> something, they mean what they say. Women, they have a different meaning sometimes. No, I mean it. I mean it. Because for sure, if I, if, I didn't get, if I didn't get you, Sophie, I'm sure. No, we just go to. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to start arguing here, you see? <laughs> Don't argue, please. Okay. Listen, <laughs> we've got another one from Lisa Marie. She says, um, as a single person also, the pressure, if, um, the pressure, if any, doesn't come from myself, but from other people. Mm. Um, when they say, when are you going to find someone, etc., etc. I can, I can still take advantage of, of a good chocolate deal, though. Um, if I was in a relationship and my partner could not, uh, could could only make an effort on Valentine's Day, then that would be a big problem. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of people saying I agree, I don't disagree, I, I don't, I don't agree. And this is what we were saying, right? What we were saying is that uh, I think it's a problem that a person only remembers to do something on on Valentine's Day. That that would be upsetting in a relationship, I think. But. If, if there's already, that already ha happens every week, there's a habit of, of uh, a special day being reserved for the relationship every week, then there's no reason why you know, Valentine's Day would be You know, the element different. of surprise is gone, isn't it? It's like, oh, today is a, a day to be romantic and... Uh... Yeah, but then again, we, we don't want to put, to put people who, who celebrate uh, Valentine's Day in a big day, we, we don't want to put these people off. I mean, maybe it's something really special for you. There are people that have a tradition to do something different on Valentine's Day. Yeah, maybe they are very, very busy. So for them, mm -hmm. they, they take this, a day off work like <laughs> our mm -hmm. friend <laughs> Desrin. They can afford doing that. So yeah. they enjoy themselves. There's nothing now, wrong with that. James and Desrin, you guys are quite young. What, what are the challenges of, um, of a, a new relationship? You guys are getting to know each other. I mean, what, what are the main challenges that you've been, you've been facing? Yeah. One of the um, main challenges is him being a male and I'm a female. That, that's usually the case, right? <laughs> yeah, that's like the main... But that's usually the case, male and female. Yeah, like getting to understanding how he thinks, how he does things differently to how I am, mm -hmm. and kind of just balancing out like my needs and his needs and kind of understanding that he may see things differently and I see things differently. So He sees things to... differently. Yeah. Yeah, Register that, you know. Because <laughs> I, I was asking you, James, and actually both of you, and you said you feel that you have found the one, mm -hmm. right? That you guys are, are right for each other. But even so, there are challenges, even though you believe you are, you're made for each other. What, what kind of challenges do you guys go through usually? I think um, for myself, it, boys and, and uh, women and, and men are very different. So mm -hmm. I think we've had discussions about this before. Men, sometimes we don't like to speak so much, and women, they love to talk. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if, <laughs> if maybe I'm not speaking the same level as Desiree, she may see it as I'm not interested or I'm not bothered, but that's not really the case. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, as you were saying, finding the balance because we need to understand each other. And in the beginning, it was very difficult because we had not disagreements, but she, she, she wouldn't really understand me and I wouldn't really understand her until but you, you, said, you said in the beginning, but you are at the beginning, yeah. right? <laughs> it's only been seven months. But, um, for example, James, we were just talking before we started the program, and, and, I, and they were talking about what they were going to say here with the questions and so on. And Desiree asked James, what, what are you going to say when they ask you about this? And James said, yeah, I'm going to say this. <laughs> and then she said, no, but explain better. And, the point. And men, we, we just say, no, you know, 
we're going to say this, and we have everything planned in our mind, but exactly. women want us to speak about every single detail, right? Exactly. It's so true. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's how we understand better, better isn't it? Yeah, if anything is just out. You need to explain. You know. mm -hmm. so, so we're trying to understand that. We're trying to work on that, but it's going well. So. Definitely. Listen, guys. Are you so? You said that you uh, you're looking forward to Valentine's Day this week. You took a day off, but anything that you want to say, anything that you're planning to do that you can yeah, maybe I, give <laughs> away or no, if it's a surprise, yeah. don't give it. If it's a surprise, don't give it away. Is there anything you can tell us? Anything? No. Let's just say I, I I'm deep in thought on making it really special <laughs> for her. <laughs> He's, He's not sure what? yet. He's <laughs> not sure yet. He's <laughs> deep in thought. If <laughs> He's deep in later. thought in what he's going to do. It means he doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know so what he's going to do. So this is translation, yet. okay? Yeah, definitely translation. That's that's a, a male. I know Jim. <laughs> by the way, we have the same name, so that's yeah. It. yeah. So um, anyway, we we'll find out a bit more after the break. But before we go on a break, I would like to remind our viewers at home that we have a website, which is lovetalkshow.tv. Uh, we also have our Facebook page, where you can also take part in all the discussions there, okay? And uh, lastly, we have an email address where you can email us your questions. That's lovelab at lovetalkshow.tv. That's right, and you know, the thing about um, Valentine's Day is, is pretty much like Christmas. I mean, forgive me for making this comparison, but there are people who make a big deal out of Christmas, and there's others who not so much. And, and Valentine's Day is like that. If you have a tradition to do something special with your partner, with your boyfriend, with your husband or wife, uh, then you should do that. Like Elena was saying, perhaps he, you guys are a very busy couple. You hardly get any time to spend together. So this could be the one moment that you could really invest in spending time together. Uh, let someone in your family look after the kids for a while while you go out for a special meal. That's important. But I want to let you know, you that are single, that you should not feel pressurized by anybody, anyone to do anything. At the end of the day, it's your life and, and you can make the choices that you want to make. And I believe this pressure comes a lot from the media, mm -hmm. right? And it's all Tradition. traditions. It's all, uh, how can we say, a marketing thing. Yeah, you know, I was shops say have that. to sell their, their goods, they make have money, targets. <laughs> targets to meet, absolutely. Yeah. So there's this pressure by the yeah. media, by people, but you don't have to succumb to that, right? It's, it's your choice. So what's important is that you make the most not of this day, but of getting your, your, uh, your choice in your love life right from here onwards, not just for this day, okay? So don't worry. We're going to go into a break. When we come back, uh, James and Desreen are going to tell us a little bit about their relationship, how it started, how it broke up, and how it started again. Right, James and Desreen? <laughs> it's a very interesting story, but they'll tell us where they are at now and how the relationship of finding the one can sometimes not be as smooth as people think that it is. We'll be right back. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and in the world of celebrities it's that time of the year again for some to promote their undying love for their partners and for others an opportunity to let the world know they are single in the hope that Cupid will throw his arrow and match them with their other half. Let's see the top three Valentine's gifts celebrities have either received or given. Angelina Jolie gave Brad Pitt a 200 year old olive tree which was rumored to cost $18,500. The tree was planted in one of their homes in France. Jay-Z gave his wife Beyonce a platinum mobile phone costing $24,000 for one Valentine's Day. And David Beckham gave his wife an $18 million Bulgari necklace. Are these Valentines just as super sweet or just plain over the top? After all, you can't put a price tag on love. Welcome back. We're talking about the much dreaded Valentine's Day. And I'm saying much dreaded by those who feel under pressure to receive gifts and be noticed. But we're here to tell you it's not really about that. We're gonna talk to, to James and Desreen. You guys have been here in the studio with us, right? Yes. And you, you've been dating for seven months. Mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit about your, your background in terms of relationships before you met Desreen, James. How, how was your history of relationships? Um, I had a history of being a womanizer, if I'll be very honest. So mm -hmm. I had many different girls I was seeing. I never used to take it seriously. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I never wanted to be committed in a relationship. So I would literally spend one night and I wouldn't want to see the person again. It was mm -hmm. that kind of relationship. So I was going through a lot of, of women. And then when I went to university, there was one girl that I, I met with and I ended up having a long-term relationship with her. Mm -hmm. She was the first girl I really respected because she was a virgin mm -hmm. and she didn't want to um, have sex with me straight away. So I thought, do you know what, let me play the game with her and mm -hmm. then I'll definitely be able to pounce her. And, and, but, and but that made you respect her more? That I did respect mm -hmm. her because mm -hmm. you don't really find girls that hold their virginity and, and, and want mm -hmm. to sort of save it for marriage. But she was the first girl that mm -hmm. kind of had that mindset. Right. Mm -hmm. So that relationship eventually broke up, I imagine, because you're here with Desreen today. Right? Yes, exactly. It, it didn't work out. Um, I was, there's a lot of things in me that needed mm. to change. I was still young and things in her that were, I, it, it just didn't really work out really, really and truly. Um, but it was a long-term relationship. Mm. It was like four years. Mm. So we had gone through a lot. And um, it was, in the beginning, it was very hard for me because mm. I kind of set my mind on this is the girl that I'm going to mm. marry. Mm. So when it didn't work, yeah, it, 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 was, it, was, it, was, it was really, really hard for me, right. if I'll be very honest. Desreen, what about you? What about your, your past before you met James? Um, before I met James, um, I'd been with a few boys before, guys, shall mm. I say. Um, they weren't successful at all. Um, my last one before James was um, quite aggressive. Mm. Um, and it was quite a lustful relationship. It wasn't, he didn't really want to get to know me, um, my family speak. It was all about he just wanted certain things or mm. um, never spoke about future plans, anything. There's one time I didn't, I didn't want to do anything with him and he went to hold me down and we had a fight. I even went to strangle him and throw in oh. remotes and just because I didn't want to do anything. Mm. And um, that was the last relationship that I came out of. So it was difficult for me to to see that a man, someone can look after me because the guys that I were with would, was never um, responsible to just have one girl mm. to um, look after, to take care of, to be there for um, them. And I never had that, so I, I, I didn't want to get married anymore. Um, I just despised men completely. Right. I was put off. So you guys met, right? Yes. How, how did you meet? When I finished with my long-term relationship, I, there was a, a period of I wasn't with anyone and mm. I was sort of trying to get over it. And um, I then, I knew, I knew Desiree from before, but I never saw her in that way. Mm -hmm. So when I came back from university, I saw her again and she looked completely different to me. The way she looked, the way she presented herself. Um, and we just became friends. We started getting close, talking. And I, I started realizing that we were very compatible. You know, the, we just really hit off, mm. honestly, really true. When we spoke, it was just fresh, it was like new. Actually, Elena, we have a, a few pictures of them, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so you're gonna yeah. see now on your screen there a, a few pictures of um, James and Desreen when they went on, on their first, first date, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And eventually as you got to know each other. Uh, but although you guys feel that you're right for each other, that you know each other, um, and you, you, you know that you're right for, for each other, for your future. Mm -hmm. How have things been? Have things been easy or how is it adapting to, to, to match that person? How has that period been for you guys? Well, um, as James mentioned before, because we both came from broken relationships mm -hmm. before, so we carried the baggage into oh, our new relationship. Really? So I already was insecure with myself um, and I didn't have that secure, I didn't trust that um, that anything good would come, not anything good would come out, but I didn't, I just didn't really want to put my 100% trust in it, some, a guy yet because of the past. Mm -hmm. And also, as James mentioned, with your... Yeah, so... <laughs> your kind of in, in the beginning, it was, it was amazing, it was fantastic, because, <coughs> as I said, it we really hit off. But I'm, I know she was dealing with certain things inside of mm -hmm. her, and it started popping up, and I started to see things in Desreen and... I, it then, what happened was, because I didn't deal with the past, I then asked myself, did I make a right decision? Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I had a lot of questions with my previous relationship that oh, needed so to be you answered. So you were still dealing with your past relationship? Exactly, well. okay. exactly. And th it was then playing on my mind even more when the hard times came in. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a tough, a tough moment because I, I knew that she was amazing. It was fantastic. But I was asking myself, why is these questions coming in my mind in a sense. Yeah, is, so. is that when you guys broke up for a yeah, period of time? Yeah, because yes. that's when obviously he mentioned that 
he started seeing things in, in me and um, and also he mentioned, he, he explained to me about like the past and feelings so he didn't deal mm -hmm. with it. And for me already kind of, not insecure, but already kind of, when it comes to relationships, a bit iffy about and being told that the person you're with is, hasn't finished with the past yet, it, for me it was, mm -hmm. it really knocked me down. And, and Elena, you know, uh, this is what they're saying is very important because the thing is when you're someone's friend, is one thing. When you start dating a person, mm -hmm. you start seeing things that you didn't see before, yes. right? It, it's like all of a sudden these little things that you didn't notice, they're magnified in front of you. Mm -hmm. And how, how, do people ha how do people have to deal with that? Well, I think they have to deal with their past first, mm -hmm. uh, before, if possible, before they actually get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. But if they are in a relationship like you guys, you know, um, started, even before you, you dealt with your past, then you have to talk things over. You can't just mm -hmm. ignore what's there. You need to talk about it. For example, you had this thing, these insecurities. Talk about it. Of course, you reacted in a different way and vice versa. But, you know, you have to talk about it. Don't just hide and, and try to push things. Mm -hmm. You know, this is going to work, this is going to work. You need to be sincere with and, yourself. And there are things you Honest. find out about the person when you start dating that are a big deal. Others are not so much a, a big deal, but what you actually found out that James hadn't dealt yet with his past, that was, that's a big deal. Because mm -hmm. you can't start something new if you're holding on to the past. So, James, was it after you dealt with that that you guys started dating again? What, what was the process? Yeah, because as I said, it, was, it, was, it started off as really small things. The mm -hmm. reason it kind of popped up is because when we split up, there was a lot of questions that needed to be asked about why it didn't work out, and mm -hmm. I didn't get the answers. Mm -hmm. and, um, the person, the person sort of said, there's more to the story that what meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And it was left as that. Mm -hmm. So because I said, no, I don't want to get involved in you anymore, stuff like that, let's finish it. Mm -hmm. But because of that word, like there's more to the story than what meets the eye, it then later on, months later, it's like, okay, what, what exactly did she mean? Mm -hmm. well, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe I was being unfair and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it started off as little things like that. And, and then um, it was only till, I opened up to Desiree and then I saw the effect it had on her. I yeah, think. for me, he's mentioning obviously like um, questions and questions, but for, for a partner to say, just mention anything to do with an ex-partner, that's enough already. If someone who's not secure mm -hmm. in themselves already put me down, that's when I started having even more insecurities, comparing myself to the person, thinking, because um, even time, sometimes he'd compare me um, mm. to, to the past, um, person that he was with. So these things, it was, it was very, really, yeah. really difficult. And, and that's, a that's a yeah, killer. That's a killer. Yeah, that completely destroys. When you, when you compare the person you're with with the person you had before, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. When there's a comparison. Married it, or single. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It kills things straight away. Yeah. Straight away. It's important to deal with the past straight, so straight away. So you had to learn, James, not to do that. Yeah, definitely. I had to learn. And then, um, when I really sat down and, and I realised that there was nothing to it. It was, it was little questions, but there was nothing there. I realised mm -hmm. that I do really like Desiree. I, I, I think she, as a person, she's fantastic. I think uh, like physically, in, in, all, in, different, in all ways, I kind of thought that she's the one I really want to be with. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, st I, I was kicking myself in the head thinking there was nothing there. Yes, there was questions that need to be answered, but mm -hmm. how can I bring this into something that I had, which was great because it was fantastic, our relationship. Though we had little problems here and there, mm. it was more of me not understanding her and yeah. her going through issues and me having to grow up and sort of realise that this is how girls are. Girls are very emotional. Mm. It's not going to be rosy all the time. Mm. It's not going to be always high high times. Yeah. So... Um, I mean, I, if you talk about it, it's going to be OK. It's, yeah, I think, yeah. The problem is when guys don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Then the woman, the girl, but, like freaks out. Like, what's going on in his but mind? But you see that <laughs> the solution of the women is always this: talk Talking. about it. Mm -hmm. talk and about in a way, it's true, right? Mm -hmm. but and that's the thing. To be honest, I think that's why we're kind of here standing still because um, he opened up about it. He could have kept it to himself mm -hmm. and had these these thoughts and and didn't speak up. And I could have not wanted to change, but mm -hmm. he was. Sin we were both sincere. And we realised that we both have to deal with our past and mm. how I was with my relationships, how I um, saw men and, and how I started seeing James in a certain way and how he felt with his past. So because we kind of spoke and decided to deal with it.
Right. So you, you've overcome that. Mm -hmm. What are the, the little challenges you face now? Because what we want people to understand, the, the, the show today is about two things. The one, find the one, mm -hmm. and we're talking a little bit about Valentine's Day, but when we say the one, people think... The that perfect one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. It couldn't be more perfect, <laughs> but what kind of challenges do you have? Is it always perfect? No, it's not always perfect. Um, I realise with myself sometimes, some women have high expectations. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes if James doesn't do something or doesn't do it like this person or like the movies or like certain things, <laughs> he doesn't do mm -hmm. it like that. So I'm like, oh, why doesn't he do this? Why doesn't he do this? I, ex I sometimes expect a lot and I think I have to bring myself back to reality and then um, sometimes I'm expecting too much and he's like, but, and what he's doing is he's all, he's but then I'm like, and then yeah. Like, is that it? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, okay, kind of thing. So I think sometimes I, I need to stop doing that. We have to blame it on Hollywood. Yeah, no, we right? have to stop watching uh, romantic yeah. movies too much. All right, so we have a, a, a little competition for you at home now. We, we'd like you to go to our Facebook page, which is uh, Facebook forward slash love talk show. And the question is, I'll read it out here, because otherwise I'll, I'll get it wrong. Traditionally, stupid Cupid, so I'm not going to say Cupid, because whoever relies on Cupid to find the right person for them usually gets it wrong, because a little guy usually shoots the arrows in the wrong direction, right? We have to leave it for our common sense and intelligence to choose the right person. Very important to remember that. But traditionally, Cupid is associated with which festive event? Is it Christmas, Easter, or Valentine's Day? So that's a, a no-brainer, right? So just put your answer there on our Facebook page and one person will be selected at random and you'll have a, a voucher for two people to go out for lunch or dinner, it's up to you, at, at Nando's, okay? So if you want to leave your answer there, we're gonna select one person at random for that. And what I'd like to say now at the end of this program is this. I wanna talk about expectations. Desreen was saying here that sometimes she expected big things from, from James when what he was doing was actually the best he could do at that time. And, you know, sometimes you expect the person who's with you or who is in a relationship with you at that point to do this amazing, amazing thing to, uh, you know, to, to, to sweep you off your feet. And sometimes there are people who do that but are unfaithful. There are people who come in in a white horse and with a chariot behind for good measure and still they're not truthful. So you have to, to take uh, the, the two things into the equation. It's important that there are demonstrations of how much the person cares for you and surprise you. But don't deny or don't neglect rather those little things that sometimes we take for granted in our relationships. Honesty, maybe the person who's with you has never um, done this amazing thing to swipe, sweep you off your feet, but this person is faithful, okay? Remember that. Until next time, have a wonderful night. Cheers, mate.